Hey, writers! Welcome back, writers. Writers, today I want to teach you that writers plan out their stories before they start writing them. So yesterday, you told your stuffy or yourself, you told yourself and your stuffy or somebody around you some ideas that you could start writing about for your narrative writing. So today, I hope you choose that one thing that you're going to write about. So go ahead. We need to have one thing that you're going to write about. So go ahead and think about it right now. Ready? Go. Okay, the one thing that I'm going to choose to write about is, do, 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 I better get Willie out here. Willie, I decided I'm going to write about teaching on the computer to my class. That's what I'm going to choose. Okay, do you have what you're going to write about? Great, good. So as I mentioned, today I want to teach you that writers plan out their stories before they start writing. So the something you need to know is that a story includes character plot and a setting okay so first i want you to think about the characters who is in your story who's going to be in your story so for my story i'm going to write about distance writing so who distance teaching so who's going to be in my story well i'm going to be in my story and my students are going to be in the story okay now i want you to think about the plot what happens in your story now remember let's see is this a good story i'm gonna i teach on a computer it's cool boring no your story has to have some different things that happen it has to have a plot what happens first what happens second what happens next and your story needs to have a setting where and when does your story take place? So students, you know we're writing a true story, something that has really happened in your life. Now I'm gonna teach you a way that you can plan it out. You'll notice that on Google Classroom, you have several different ways that you can plan out your story that's due today. You can do it on Google Doc, you can drop pictures in there for me, you can make a slideshow with pictures, or you can draw it out. Another word for drawing is sketching it out. So I'm going to teach you how writers plan their stories before writing it using the paper way. If you have a paper around your house. It could be lined paper. It could be this kind of paper, whatever. If you're choosing to draw it out, this is how you can do it. So you're going to fold it in half like this. I'm going to fold it in half. So that'll give me two parts. Now a story with only two parts, boring. So now you're gonna fold it again. I'm gonna take it, fold it. See that, It'll, it didn't go all the way up. It went about like that up. Then I fold it over again so that I have a square. So I folded that over like that. Okay, so I fold it in half. Fold it in half, folded it up, folded it up, unfold. I have six parts, okay? Count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Your story needs to have at least six pictures or at least six parts to it. In fourth grade, our stories have lots of things that are happening, okay? So six parts. In the first part, what are you going to write? Yes, characters, okay? So at least two pictures of characters. Two pictures of characters. In the next, what are you gonna write about? The plot, you're gonna draw about your plot. What is happening in your story? So the next two pictures need to be about what is happening in your story. And, and the third thing, Setting, yes, setting. When and where does your story take place? So you're gonna include two pictures about the setting. And say it with me. So first, characters. Second, plot. Third, setting. And that's what you will be planning out today. Okay, so you're gonna plan out with pictures. Writers plan out their stories before writing. So are we writing today? We're doing pictures today.
okay? And you'll see in the Google Classroom the different options. All right, writers, I can't wait to see your pictures.